Yo, what up? Today we are reviewing a Chevy Suburban. When the current owner bought this car, it was in pretty bad shape. He gave it a full paint job and then he swapped in a new engine. For those of you interested, this thing's now rocking a Mercedes motor. Some technical details for you. He also pimped out the cabin. There are still a few things left to do. I mean, this build isn't completely finished yet. Up front we have nine pairs of MTU-80s, a few MVL-651s, and some TTU-41 tweeters. My kid's asleep in the back. Oh, really? Well, probably not anymore. No, he's still asleep. If I can just show the people, we actually have a kid sleeping in the back. I wasn't expecting that when I flipped the front speakers on. That there's a kid in the cabin. So this is how we meet the owner, whose name is Pavel. And now his kid's awake. It looks like we have a competition spec system with a remote head unit. So where do you want to install this? If I were to stick the head unit into the dash, it would just fall right out of there. Right onto the floor. You can see that I've bent the USB stick, so it's happened before. Alright. I don't stick it in there anymore. So you've basically got a typical competition layout. It's pretty convenient. Check out the oscillation on the front speakers. Given the oscillation, I wouldn't risk turning them on. There seems to be something wrong with the MVLs. Probably needs a bit of fine tuning. Where'd you set the bandpass? 80 hertz. Oh, so we're looking at 80. Oh my god. I'm not sure if our viewers can hear it or not, but it has some meaty punch to it. It goes down quite low. It's all down to the surface area. Now I suggest we flip on the 18s. Did you measure the final result? Yeah, it was 153.3. So it was 153.3. Okay. But it was clear that the bass wasn't making it to the front. Now, what sort of amp are you running for the front speakers? You got a thousand watts for each door. A thousand each. But they're... That's not for the whole door, right? Or is it for the entire thing? Tweeters included. I had to bridge... We made a bridge from one of the amps to these MTU-80s. And through separate channels to the tweeters on the left and on the right. That's one amplifier. We also did a bridge connection from the other amp to those MTU-80s. And the middle speakers on both sides. Sounds like the cheap way to do it. That's the SQ method. Also, this is an SQ build then. All of this is powered by Titanate, lithium Titanate batteries. Here we have one 1000 watt amp for the front speakers. And here we have the second one. And another three, four, eight hundreds for the subwoofers. This is a work in progress, of course. Posh is in for a bit of trolling. Apparently there used to be oval speakers in here. Now we just have some loud sound, sound deadening material. It's his sort of personal preference. Why don't you have a basic toy? I see a bunch of loud sound. Oh, you do? My kid has one. Okay, so basic is accounted for. We've got some loud sound sketch tape, a bit of sound deadening. This car is fully loaded, isn't it? And here we have the subwoofer casing. What's the volume of that thing? About 700 liters, maybe a bit more. These Suburbans have some decent trunk space if this thing fits okay. He was able to fit six 18-inch subs, although there is no cargo space left. You could probably stick your things into the port. I see you don't even need a child seat. Just don't turn the system on. Now imagine your kid being sucked in there, Dad. You like the sound system? No. Not enough power, apparently. Can you rev the motor? Awesome. One more time. What's the engine displacement? 5 liters or... It's a 5.5. .5. An AMG motor. 
The exhaust is pretty much original. <laughs> As in original Stradivari? To quote Jeremy Clarkson, it's like the devil gargling with some nails. Daddy, you should take the loud sound scotch tape. You'll need it to stiffen the body. <laughs> Actually, I plan to make a divider while keeping it within the confines of the cargo area, so that I still have two rows of seats and a bit of comfort. We have a long winter ahead of us, so we can make it happen. I am a bit worried about the subwoofers. It might steal a coin from my pocket. I've never had a massage like that before. So we've just reviewed this Chevy Suburban from the city of Bielgorod. You should definitely give it a listen. Pavel is typically cool with that. This is quite an interesting project. I feel bad for this car. It just got a paint job. And the system is literally tearing it apart. You should definitely make that divider, dude. This build does, of course, have a few problems. I mean, he still hasn't gotten the car to where he wants it. In any case, this thing is pretty brutal. It'll literally blow your mind with the amount of flex. And when the ladies sit in the back, this thing can easily do a hair trick. What we have here is an American car with a typical American-style installation. A big car with a large owner. Alright, subscribe to our channel and see you around.